Guys, let's quickly recap what we went through in the last lesson on roles of enzymes in digestion. Okay, so during digestion, food is broken down into their basic units by the process of hydrolysis. And that's basically when you add water molecules to a complex molecule and break it down into simpler molecules. Now, in order for hydrolysis to take place, we need this thing called enzymes. And enzymes are actually proteins, okay? And they're proteins that speed up chemical reactions without undergoing any changes themselves. Now, enzymes are made in your body, and they are only needed in very, very small amounts. And they're also very highly selective, which means that one particular enzyme is only going to speed up one particular type of chemical reaction, okay? Okay, so then we looked at the three major classes of enzymes, and I told you there's carbohydrases, proteases, and lipases. And of course, no prizes for guessing which nutrients they break down. So carbohydrates break, carbohydrases break carbohydrates down into simple sugars. Proteases break proteins down into amino acids. Lipases break fats down into fatty acids and glycerols. And the simple sugars, fatty acids, and glycerols, and amino acids are all small enough so that your small intestine can actually absorb them. Okay, then after that, what we did was we looked at the digestive system, which is made of the elementary canal and the associated organs. So very quickly in this next slide, this just summarizes all the different parts of that digestive system. <coughs> Okay, that's my dog background. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have the mouth, the salivary glands, which is this cauliflower-looking thing over here. We have the esophagus, and what Hidayat um, very cleverly pointed out um, as also the gullet. Then we have this big red thing in the background, that's the liver. This small green thing is the gallbladder. This one here, of course, the mango looking like thing is your stomach. The leaf looking like thing is your pancreas. This, so from here, this here onwards, all the way through this part here, that's all your small intestine. And of course, this larger one here is the large intestine. Coming right down to the rectum, which is where your poop is stored. And of course, finishing with your anus, is, which is where your poop actually comes out. Okay, so that pretty much recaps our previous lesson. So watch the next video for the next lesson.